Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll explain how you can attempt a test on Code Tantra platform. Now, before we jump into the actual demonstration, let's have a look at the recommended combination of operating system and browser. The five major operating systems available today are Window Operating System, Mac OS, Linux OS, Android OS, or iOS. If you are taking a test through a Windows based laptop or desktop, then you can use either Google Chrome browser or you can go with Microsoft Edge browser. If you are attempting the test on a Mac OS based laptop or desktop, then you can use Chrome browser. Similarly, if you are using a Linux OS based laptop or desktop, then again you can use Chrome browser. If you are using an Android based device, then you can either use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser as per your liking. But if you are using iOS based devices such as iPhone, then you should use Safari browser that too of version 13 or above. You should also note that at the time of taking the test, your browser should be updated for the best user experience. I'm going to attempt my test using a window laptop. And you can see I'm opening the Google Chrome browser as recommended. And then I'm going to the website mitwpu-entrance.cotentra.com slash login.jsp. Once I'll come here, I'll enter my ID and password here. Once I'm done entering my ID and password here, I'll click on the submit. If I have forgot my password, I can click on this forget password button or this button here. I can enter my email ID and then I can click on recover. This will send an OTP mail. I can go to my email account now and I can find that OTP and I can use that OTP to reset my password. In my case, I'm aware of my ID, email ID and password. So I'm going to click on submit. Once I'll click on submit, I'll come to this home screen. On the home screen, I have to click on the test card. Then I have to click on this take test card here. I can see there is a test schedule for me here. All I have to do is I have to click on this open test button in front of the schedule test. Once I'll do that, I'll come to this environment check page. Here I have to allow the permission which is being asked. So this permission is for location. I can click on allow. For the camera also, I have to click on the allow button. And for the microphone also, I have to click on this allow button. Once I'll do that, I can see these checks are okay. And in order to test the audio, I have to click here play this audio byte and I can hear this audio so I'll click on yes then I'll click on proceed to test and you can see once these five checks are completed only then I'm get, going to get this proceed to test button if any one of these checks are not passing then I will not be able to get this proceed to test button so for microphone and uh, webcam you'll be able to get a tutorial video if you'll run into any issues so it will give a tutorial video on how to resolve those issues. You can check them and you can resolve your issues there. Now I'm going to click on this proceed to test button since I can see this. I'm going to click on it. Now it is time to capture the face. So I'll make sure my face is visible in the frame here. Then I'll click on capture. If I'm satisfied with the view, I will click on proceed. Otherwise I can click on recapture and recapture it again. Now I can upload my ID card using two method. I can use the camera button here and I can place my physical ID card in front of camera and then I can click on capture. The other thing I can do is I can click on switch input, click to browse and then I can upload the ID card if you have saved it in my device and then I can click on proceed button. Once I'll click on this proceed button, I can see the preview of the face I have captured and the ID card I have selected. If I'm satisfied, I'll click on upload. And this is where we need to wait for a few seconds before we get the start test button to continue. Meanwhile, you can read the instruction of the paper which has listed here. And you can see the other test details on this side also. So I'll just wait here for a few seconds before I get this start test button. Now you can see the system has automatically given me the start test button once it identifies that my web microphone and web camera is working. So I'm going to click on this start test button. Once I'll click on start test button, I'll be able to get the very first question on my screen. This yellow ribbon that you are able to see here, this is where the questions are listed and these are the options that I have. I can select the option against a particular question. 
then I can click on the next button here and the moment I'll click on next button my previous response will be saved and I can see there is a saved successful notification also. If I'll go to the previous question using this previous button I can see the previous selected option is there on my screen. I can go to the next question now. Now I can answer this question also by selecting an option. If I want to deselect an option, I can click on this option again. It will be deselected. If I have already selected an option and if I want to deselect that there is another way by clearing the response by clicking on this button, I can select yes and the response will be cleared. And then I can go to the next question if I want to skip this question. I can access the general instruction of this test by clicking on this button. I can resize the text on my screen using this plus and minus button. So minus basically decreases the size of the text and plus increases the size of the text. I can access the calculator if it is allowed in my exam. If it is not allowed, this button will not appear here. I can access the calculator. I can close it from here. I can see this section is named as general knowledge section. This is section one of five. That means in this paper, I have total five section. And currently I am writing first section. This is the second question of my first section. And there are total 15 questions in this particular section. Marks for this question is 1. And then I can use this jump to panel also to access these details. So you can see there is a section called general knowledge. Each of 1 marks. And we have certain number of questions here. 15. Then on the right side we have logical reasoning. This is section 2. Again we have 10 questions here. In mathematics we have certain number of questions and in basic English also and then we have some question in computer fundamentals. So this is how I can see how many sections are there and how many questions are there in each section. There is some color code also for example you can see this green button represents that this question has been attempted. The orange color button represents that the question has been visited but not been answered and the gray color represents those questions which are not answered or which are not visited till this point. In any case, I do not need to go outside of the test window once the test starts. So if I will try to go outside, I will be able to see a message like this that this exam will terminate in this much second. Now this doesn't mean that I can go till 5 and I can click on continue exam in number of time. Even this has got certain number. So it's a very wise decision that you do not try this at all at your end. You should always try to attempt the test in full screen mode. And whenever you see this pop up, you should immediately click on continue exam button to go into the full screen again. If I want to send a message to my proctor, I can click on this green chat icon here. And then I can see there is a user list toggle here. I can click on chat and I can send a message that I want to type and I can hit the enter key. The message will be sent to my proctor. And if the proctor is there, that person will might be able to respond. If this is an AI proctor exam, you will not get the reply immediately. I can also send an emergency help request using this hand raise symbol. I can click on this button. I can provide a number of mine which is working so that some person can reach out to you to help you out. And I can describe my issue here whatever I want to write and then I can click on submit. So this message will be submitted to your proctor. Once I'm done writing the exam, I can click on this finish button. I can keep answering the questions. I can keep doing that. I can click on finish. And I can see the statistics that each of these five section, how many questions we had, how many of them have been answered, not answered and not visited. So this statistic is there. If I'm satisfied, I can click on yes, I want to finish and exit. If I want to change it, I can click on no and I can go back and I can attempt the test again. In my case, I want to submit this test. So I'll click on yes, I want to finish and exit. The status of my test has turned into completed and my test is submitted now.